Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're going to do a pork steak barbecue beans on the grill. Good work. All right, it's real easy to do. What you want to do is get yourself a Boston cut or shoulder roast, or it's also called a Boston butt. And uh, this is about a seven or eight pound roast right here. And you can see it's, uh, of course, bone in. This is where you're going to get your Boston butt. Now, you can have your uh, butcher. Uh, slice up some one inch one and a half inch steaks if you want but uh, you want to save some money you can do it yourself all right so what you want to do is get yourself a saw and uh, well you know well uh, you might want to use uh, something like this miter saw here or want to maybe a hacksaw if you got it that might even work better but uh, since we were uh, doing some plumbing this morning we're just gonna have to stick with our uh, miter saw here. All right, so we want about one inch thick uh, steaks, and uh, it might take two of you to do it, because uh, cutting through this bone can be a real chore, but uh, you'll get it down. Plus that uh, shoulder roast there is uh, real slippery. So uh, you got somebody around uh, to help you cut these up. You wanna do it, all right, so uh, here we are here uh, like I said cutting these up to one inch you can go maybe one and a half inch thick and after we uh, cut them up we like to rinse them down a little bit get some of that, in that uh, bone off of there or, or that bone marrow but that's up to you now, this is the hardest part of this uh, recipe here is uh, just cutting through this bone but like I said you can have your uh, butcher uh, cut some up for you all right that was easy to do now we want to make up some of our uh, homemade barbecue sauce it's real easy to do here I got about a 50 ounce bottle of ketchup and uh, of course you can use your own favorite uh, barbecue sauce something you can pull off the shelf but uh, kind of like making our own here and uh, so to one big bottle of ketchup here we're gonna add about a cup of apple cider vinegar and uh, you can adjust these quantities the way you like it of course and you want to add a few spices in here and it's the usual. Here I've got about a tablespoon of uh, cumin. And about a tablespoon of uh, garlic powder. And I got some chili powder here. Just about a tablespoon. And I got a little celery seed, about a half a teaspoon in there. You want to go easy on the celery seed. All right, so now we're, we're also cutting up uh, four or five big old jalapenos. And these are the pickled jalapenos. And uh, we're just going to leave the seeds in. And this will add uh, some nice mild heat to this uh, sauce here. And of course, you don't want to forget your Worcestershire sauce. You got about three or four tablespoons. Again, that's optional. And uh, let's crank up the heat a little bit more. I've got some red hot here. Like I said, this is not going to be a real hot sauce. But it'll be kind of mild, but uh, it goes real good with these pork steaks and beans. All right. Now we're going to be just doing some indirect heating here on the grill. Our charcoal's on one side. And uh, we'll throw these jalapenos in here. Now you can use fresh jalapenos if you want. It's up to you. And we got a 
one or two big old onions there we just cut up big chunks we're gonna throw them in there too man it's smelling good already that sauce is uh, warming up we're gonna put some uh, spices on these steaks you can use your favorite spice this is a uh, just garlic uh, granulated garlic and a couple different kinds of black pepper and some, uh, some uh, chef salt goes real good with these uh, pork steaks you just sprinkle both sides that sauce is uh, nice and uh, heated up so uh, let's sear uh, some of these pork steaks right now before we uh, throw it in this pot right. now you only have to sear a couple minutes each side looking for that nice uh, searing texture before you throw it in the pot just like that right there now we're uh, we got about four uh, 24 26 ounce cans of beans these are baked bean style and uh, we'll uh, we're going to be throwing these beans in this pot here once these uh, pork steaks are all seared. Now you could use a white bean if you want, but these baked beans work real good. And I'd say the neighbor's about smelling this right now, thinking about coming over. And of course you want to add about 12 ounces of beer, maybe a little more. And uh, cuz uh, this is a thick sauce here and uh, so you want to you want to dilute it a little bit cuz as it simmers now for the next 2 hours or so, uh, this sauce will get real thick. All right, let's put those beans in there. Just the original flavor of baked beans is uh, all you really need for this. Man, getting hungry. All right, you know all about that. We don't have to show you too much more of that. Alright, now just before we put the lid on, I'm going to throw some big old chunks of uh, hickory here. You use what hardwood you like. Got some oak, maple, mesquite. Man, look at that. Alright, like I said, indirect heat here, opposites hot, coals, and put that cover on. Close those vents down because you want to cook it low and slow here for maybe a couple hours, about 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright. What barbecue is all about. Man, you smell that? 
It smells good. Alright. Maybe another hour to go. Not going anywhere. Alright, I'm getting hungry. It's dumb. Take a look at that. Some good looking pork steaks right there. Those turkey vultures think they might have some leftovers. I don't think so. Look at that. Alright, let's plate it up. Got a few sides here, like some corn chips. Got some coleslaw there. Got my seed in my hair. Baby, I don't care. Gonna burn some this. Put a bunch of them beans on there right now. How about some gravy? Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's time to time to try a little bit of this. One thing about doing it this way, it comes out real tender. Mm, man. Nothing like pork steaks, barbecue beans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, time to move on. The next time you're looking for a good pork steak recipe and barbecue beans, you check out barbecuepitboys.com.